Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll explain how to install the software and how to use the various settings to customize the advanced mode of your Pro Compact controller from your Xbox or PC. To access all settings of the Pro Compact controller, go to the Microsoft Store in your web browser, the Start menu of your PC, or directly from your Xbox One or Xbox Series XS. Search for Pro Compact in the search bar, then download and install the app for free. Once the app is installed, select and launch the software from My Games and Apps on your Xbox or via the Start menu on your PC. To use the software, make sure your Pro Compact controller is connected to one of the USB ports on your console or PC. If the LED indicator on your controller is on, your controller is connected properly. Once the app has launched, use your Pro Compact controller to navigate within the app. From the app's homepage, you can access the controller settings, update firmware, or easily restore your controller settings to their default values. The software's navigation controls are shown at the bottom left of the screen, D-pad or left stick to navigate, A button to select, and B button to go back to the previous screen. Select Customize your controller to go to the different settings. Use your controller's left bumper and right bumper buttons to navigate between the sections shown at the top of the screen, mapping, left stick, right stick, triggers, and advanced settings. You can restore the default settings at any time by pressing the button at the bottom of the screen. With this menu, you can assign your own commands to each of the controller's buttons, except the Xbox, View, Menu, and Share buttons. Press the Y button to access the right bumper, right trigger, left bumper, and left trigger buttons of the Pro Compact. Use your left stick or D-pad to navigate the table of commands on the right side of the screen. Select the button you want to program by pressing the A button. Then select the command you want to assign in the list, and then press the A button to confirm. The process is the same to configure all buttons. With the left stick and right stick menus, you can set the response curve for each stick by selecting from one of the modes available. Racing Sports This mode corresponds to the stick's default settings. The stick's small, medium, and long movements, depicted by the different colors, are equal, like a standard controller. The stick's movement in the game corresponds directly to the stick's physical movement. FPS mode provides more accuracy for first-person shooters by adjusting stick sensitivity for easier aiming. FPS Pro mode provides even more accuracy, which is ideal if you're playing as a sniper. Arcade Fighting Mode provides instant response to your movements. This is perfect for increased responsiveness in fighting games. Finally, Infiltration Mode offers the best compromise between accuracy and responsiveness when a mission's success rests on stealth and efficiency. The stick's dead zone refers to the stick's central position when no signal is sent to the cursor on the screen. The larger the dead zone, the more you need to tilt the stick before you see a response on the screen. Increase or decrease each stick's dead zone value with the D-pad. Like the sticks, there are several modes available for adjusting the left trigger and right trigger sensitivity on your Pro Compact. The trigger sensitivity level is depicted as a scale line from 0 to 100. This corresponds to the distance it travels before performing the command. Racing Sports this mode corresponds to the trigger's default setting, with constant sensitivity progression over the full trigger range. This is ideal for accelerating and braking, for example. FPS. In this mode, the trigger takes half the time to perform the command. This is ideal for firing off rapid shots. Infiltration. This mode prevents the trigger from activating by mistake and provides constant sensitivity progression until the end of the trigger range. Arcade Fighting. This mode prevents the trigger from activating by mistake while offering more responsiveness. Once you have customized your buttons, sticks, and triggers, you can proceed to the advanced settings. There are several additional options available in this menu. Enable or disable vibration on the Pro Compact with the On-Off button. Invert the left and right sticks, if desired. D-pad. Choose between four or eight directions for the D-pad to suit the type of game you play. 
all your settings are automatically ready to use on the controller. To play with your settings, exit standard mode on your Pro Compact by pressing the controller's rear button. The blue indicator shows you are in advanced mode. Your Pro Compact is now customized. You can return to the software at any time from your console or PC to adjust your settings. Happy gaming and see you next time!